What's up guys, uh, just a quick video today, uh, I have some pretty good news. Uh, I updated Flash about a week ago, uh, it is the 29th right now, uh, I haven't had a crash since. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I've been making shorter videos or what, but uh, XSplit is a Flash based program, so uh, that may have been the root of the problem. Uh, however, I'm going to be getting the computer taken in uh, to get a checkup anyway, because uh, the CPU temperature is hotter than it's supposed to be. Uh, even if it was just flash that was making the computer turn off, uh, which <laughs> I'm not really sure if that actually happens. I don't know if anybody else has had that happen before. Uh, I would like to get it looked at anyway, um, just in case you know there is something else wrong with the computer that's gonna pop up. Uh, I'd rather have everything taken care of now instead of later. Uh, as you know, uh, there are going to be some pretty big releases uh, during January and February. Uh, January is going to be Tales of Zestiria. Uh, I'm sure if you talk to any other hardcore, long-time Tales veteran, uh, they will tell you the same thing. Uh, <laughs> everybody is being cautiously optimistic towards that game in the hardcore Tales community. Uh, it looks pretty dumbed down compared to uh, some of the more recent titles. Uh, <laughs> we're not really sure what to expect. Uh, it looks like Graces again. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I'm pretty sure it's a bad thing. <laughs> but uh, that's coming out. Uh, there is also Tokiden Kiwami uh, about a month after. I don't remember when the release date for that is, but around mid to late February. Uh, those are pretty big releases for this channel. Uh, there's not really anything else coming out uh, that actually has a release date that I can think of. Um, obviously there is the DMC4 Special Edition, but uh, that doesn't have a release date yet. Uh, there is the pretty much all but confirmed Basara expansion, uh, which I will definitely be getting the moment that they <laughs> release it. Uh, you know, in terms of stuff that's uh, actually has a release date, uh, that's all that I have on the horizon. The rest is just going to be random stuff. So uh, I'm going to try to get things fixed. Uh, by the time you see this, uh, I should have my Patreon money, my ad revenue, uh, uh, with the donation money that I have, and uh, whatever my family is going to help help to uh, send me. Uh, it should be enough to get it repaired. Uh, at the very least, uh, I want to get I want to get the cooling system reseated, uh, the thermal paste redone, which is going to be about a hundred dollars. Um, that's in addition to whatever else is wrong. It may be it may be more than that. Uh, hence why I have my uh, donation link still active. Uh, I don't really like having my donation links active. Uh, when I don't have an actual need, but uh, <laughs> the, right now the the cost of what's wrong with it is going to be uncertain. Uh, if Flash was all that was wrong, uh, even just getting it reseeded uh, to help lower the CPU temperature is probably going to be around 100. But um, the other good news I had was by the time you see this, uh, I will have most if not all of my money for the month uh, ready. Uh, whatever I have extra is going to be put towards... Uh, I'm going to put at least some of it towards a Steam sale giveaway. Uh, the Steam sale will be going on for maybe another day by the time you see this. I'm going to go ahead and spend, uh, I don't know, $15, $20, $30 on uh, a bunch of Steam games that I've covered on this channel. Uh, if you've been subscribed to me for a year, uh, you know the procedure by now. I usually give away stuff that uh, I've made videos up in the past. Uh, like, ex like I said, uh, a lot of the really good indie games don't really go on the flash sales. Uh, they just kind of get a big bulk discount at the beginning of the sale and they turn take it off at the end when everything else is uh, expired. So I'm gonna give away uh, as much as I can. Uh, like I said, I can't go too crazy. Uh, I'm not sure how much the computer repairs are going to cost. Uh, I haven't had a computer uh, shut down, an unwanted shutdown uh, since I updated flash, but uh, we're still gonna get it checked out anyway. But uh, I wanted to give back something to everybody. Um, one of my biggest pet peeves that I have on, uh, you know, internet sites where people ask for donations, uh, I see a lot of them pocket a lot of money and they never give anything back to the people that help them out. Uh, I've got too much of a conscience for that. <laughs> uh, I really like giving people, giving things back to. Uh, the people who help me out, uh, you know, even if it's not something material. Uh, you know, I've done vid numerous video requests in the past. Uh, anybody who sent me a donation, I always ask them, uh, you know, if there's a particular video that they want made or, you know, a certain game. 
but uh, even if you didn't donate to me, uh, everybody is going to be eligible for this. So <laughs> uh, I will post the probably another podcast video uh, once I have the games actually purchased. I can't make any promises right now. Uh, it depends on what the uh, computer fixing procedure is going to go down. But uh, I would like to do it for everybody. Uh, I I don't really like asking for help. Uh, it was really hard for me to do that. Uh, it seems like I've partially fixed what's wrong. Uh, but the CPU temperature is higher than it needs to be, uh, which is uh, kind of an indirect problem because uh, if I'm going to be getting back into PC recording uh, as much as I've been lately, uh, I would like to get that temperature down because obviously uh, with how much hotter it is now than it's supposed to be, uh, there's a good chance that the computer will shut itself off if that gets too hot too. So <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, probably. Uh, by the time you see this later today or tomorrow, uh, I'll be posting a video about the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to buy as much as I can for a little bit of money, uh, Crimson Clover, Super House of Dead Ninjas, uh, a couple other of the little minor hit games that I've covered on here. So with that said, uh, I'll be putting my link in the description probably for the next couple days, uh, the next couple scheduled videos. Uh, scrounge up whatever I can from all of my various uh, income streams, <laughs> uh, my family, Patreon, uh, what I have in my PayPal, my ad revenue, and uh, hopefully I'll be back in action. Uh, the uh, final announcement I had was um, I'm going to be probably getting the free-to-play version of DW8 Empires and uh, just messing around with the new character movesets, uh, you know, the rearrangements that, that they did with the DLC weapons. Uh, I know a lot of you guys want that, and uh, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying the main game. <laughs> uh, they actually, in that patch, uh, they made it so the free-to-play version, you can actually uh, buy enhanced weapons. So, uh, probably take a bit of grinding, but uh, in the near future, maybe by the time you see this, uh, provided I don't have any more PC problems, I'm going to be doing at least a couple of DW8 Empires videos. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, probably be announcing the giveaway uh, as soon as I can, as soon as I have the games uh, actually confirmed and in my inventory to give to you guys. Peace.